Well, today is Flu Shot Friday in partnership with our friends at Smith's Food and Drug and the Governor's Office. Big Buddha is at the West Point store with more on how you getting your flu shot can prevent a twindemic. It's Friday. You know what happens on Friday around this time. It's Flu Shot Friday. Jamie is back. It's a great initiative. And we're going to be coming to you every Friday at a different Smith's location. We're at the West Point. West Point, Utah. Yeah. And the reason why we're traveling around is because there's incentives to come and see Jamie and her staff here to get your flu shot. They have face masks, hand sanitizers, and Swag. great information. Swag. Yeah. Swag, yes. I wanted to start there. How important is it these days to still consider or get a flu shot? The time is now, and prevention is key. I think this year we've seen what it looks like when we don't have preventative measures, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So getting your flu shot is a great, easy, affordable way to keep you and your family protected and your commun community. You build antibodies to the flu virus and it will lessen your burden of disease even if you were to get the flu or maybe the strains didn't match up. It'll lessen your burden of the disease, lessen okay. your hospitalization, prevention, prevention, prevention. What do I bring with me when I walk into a Smith's Pharmacy to get my flu shot to make my trip easier and to make it easier yeah. for you? Great question, and to make it easier, you're going to want to go online, if possible, smithsfoodanddrug.com slash flu, and you can do all your paperwork ahead of time, um, and that way it'll be the smoothest piece. But if you don't, if you're not technology savvy, you can come in, bring your insurance card, and we'll get you set up to fill out the paperwork. But appointments are best, and that way you're not having to hang out in the pharmacy for a while. Um, so build, make it online, and you can come in, and, and we'll have it billed and ready to go. You literally pull up your sleeve, and boom, you're done. And it, it almost seems like a crazy question to ask because we're already doing a lot of these things because of the current situation we're living. You know, washing hands, covering yeah. your face. But what are some of those things that we're continuing to recommend yeah. to avoid or continue to fight the flu? Yeah. So, uh, well, if you do come in for your flu vaccine, face masks are going to be required, um, and you definitely not to come in if you're feeling having that you have a fever or that you're not feeling well or maybe you've been exposed to somebody with COVID in the last two weeks will have you postponed. But I think just all those measures, masks and hand sanitizers and staying clean and safe and getting vaccinated. All right, it's Flu Shot Friday. We got some more information for you when we come back. So stay tuned or go to fox13now.com for more information. All right, see you guys in a little bit.